All right, take a look at the night sky in San Diego. You may see black and gray, but a local woman sees sapphire. She's been diagnosed with the remarkable gift of supervision, we're told. And 10 News reporter Natasha Zuvez explains the woman's very rare condition. As the first strokes of paint go down on canvas, yellow to paint a pink rose, it becomes clear Mission Hills artist Conchetta Antico sees color a little differently. Everything's amplified in color and I didn't realize that everybody didn't see it. She's been diagnosed with tetrachromacy, in other words, supervision. Just last year, a genetic test done by Dr. Jay Nietzsche at the University of Washington confirmed she has the building blocks for four photoreceptors in her eye. Most of us have three, and for her, that results in a hundred million shades of color. My world um, speaks to me very strongly, and and it comes, and then I can't wait to paint it. She truly does see a world, a beautiful world, so much different than most of us. Researchers say it explains why she can wax poetic about shadows. I've been told that you see gray mostly in a shadow. Well, shadows are fabulous. I see emerald greens, I see magentas, I see lilacs, I see blues. She showed me she sees purple in a green parakeet. Do you see how there's violets? You've seen a dark night sky in San Diego. Well, she says the swirling sapphire is what it looks like to her. Studies are underway on her gift, and Antico says sometimes color can overwhelm her. The grocery store is like torture. Tetrachromacy has existed in the animal kingdom, fish birds, but we didn't know the extent to which it was actually in the human species. Research into humans with supervision is just beginning. One initial study says they believe between two and three percent of women may be affected, and when they look at an image like this sunset behind me, they'll see an incredible range of color. Imagine seeing violets in the white and blues in the shadows. I feel lucky. So what's in a rose? Apparently gold, yellow, orange, purple, red. And yes, pink. Natasha Zivas, 10 News. Now, Southern California universities are doing research on Antico. There are hopes her supervision could help find a cure for colorblindness. It uh, strikes close to home as well. Ironically, her daughter is colorblind.